Before we start this video, I just want to say thank you to Carter, Gathry, Nathan, and Piotr for their support on Patreon. It's because of you guys and people like you, I get to keep making these awesome videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, first, let's go look into our player inventory script. And right now we have a right weapon and a left weapon respectively that we're loading onto our hands. So let's actually change this up. Let's make a public weapon item array. And we're gonna call this weapons in right hand slots. Because in souls you have, depending on which souls you're playing, two to four slots for weapons. And we're gonna initialize that at new weapon item. And we're gonna say, uh, just for now we'll say one. That'll give us two slots. We can change that later if we want to. And then we're gonna say public weapon item array again. We're gonna do the same thing for our left hand. We're gonna say weapons in left hand slots and we'll initialize it at a new weapon item array with uh, two containers. So. All right, next let's go down here and say public int. We're gonna call this current right weapon index and we're gonna initialize that at zero. Yeah, we're gonna start with that at zero for now. And then we're going to make a public int current left weapon index. And we're going to initialize that at zero. I'm trying something slightly different from what I did in my game. I just want to see how this works out. I think it will be nice. And if it's better, I might end up using this instead. So on awake, we're going to say right weapon equals weapons and right hand slots current weapon index. So basically, whatever weapon index you're on, um, it's going to give you that weapon in your right hand or your left hand. And we're going to do the same thing for our left hand here. Good, awesome. Actually, we need to move this uh, down here though on start, I think. And what I'm actually going to do is save that. And we need to move it above this because we we're going to load our weapons after we're declaring which weapons are which. Okay. So let's go make a public void and we're going to call it change weapon. I'm just going to call this change weapon in right hand. Change right weapon. Current right weapon in X equals current right weapon in X plus one. So this is called, you're adding one to your index, whatever it may be. Next we're going to say if current right weapon in X is zero and weapons in right hand slots zero does not equal null. So if you were on index zero and the weapon in the slot zero is not null, we're gonna say right weapon equals weapons in right hand slots, current right weapon index. Then we're gonna call load weapons. So basically this means if you're on the index zero and the weapon in slot zero is not null, we're gonna load that weapon. That's all this means. And we're gonna say false because it is a right-handed weapon and not a left-handed weapon. Next we're gonna say else if current right weapon in X equals zero and weapon in right hand slot zero, it does equal null. We're just gonna say current right weapon in X equals current right weapon in X plus one. So if there's no weapon in that slot, go to the next slot or go to the next index and check there. And then we're gonna say if current right weapon in X one and weapons in right hand slot one does not equal null, we're gonna load the weapon on the weapons in right hand slot one. So basically the exact same thing is what we have up there, but we're using one instead of zero because we have slots zero or one. We're going to say else, we're going to do the exact same thing and say current right weapon index equals, this needs to be else if, and this needs to be else if, current right weapon index equals current right weapon index plus one. Okay, and lastly, if our current right weapon index is greater than our weapons in right hand slots dot length minus one, we're going to say current right weapon in X equals minus one, and then we're gonna say your right weapon is equal to unarmed weapon. We haven't made a variable for that yet, so let's just, let's just put it here for now, as it is, unarmed weapon. And then we're gonna go up to the top. Actually, before we go, we're gonna go down here and say weapon slot manager dot low weapons on slot, otherwise it won't load. And then we're gonna pass the unarmed weapon. This variable is not made yet. We're going to come up here. We're going to say public weapon item unarmed weapon. We're going to save that. Okay, let's make this thing. So let's go into our data, right click here, and we're going to say weapon item. We're just going to call this unarmed. 
There's going to be no icon, no name, because you're not going to be able to see this. I'm going to check the unarmed box here for purposes that will make sense later in the series. So we're just going to create an empty prefab here. And I'm just going to call this unarmed. I'm not going to bother show me adding in the weapon damage collider because you guys know how to do it already. So I'm going to cover it in this video. So let's go in here and just drag this empty prefab into the unarmed model prefab. Tick unarmed. And next, let's go to the player here. Go to the player inventory and let's drag the unarmed weapon into our unarmed weapon variable. And before I go, actually, let's click on the unarmed weapon again. And right here where it says right hand idle and left hand idle, we're just going to say left arm empty and right arm empty. That way when you load this weapon, it just loads the empty animation slots. Now I made some inputs for the D-pad for up, down, left, and right. Again, I didn't go through me just making these because I'm trying to make these videos as streamlined as possible. And a lot of you are saying I have been dawdling on things we've already done. So next let's go into the input handler, public bull, we're going to make a uh, bull for a D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, and D-pad right. Next, let's go down here still in the input handler. Let's say private void. Let's say handle quick slot input. We're going to say if the D-pad is right, then we're going to call upon our inventory here. So if you're hitting the right D-pad button, we're going to call upon player inventory, change right weapon. Then we're going to say, if you're calling upon the left D-pad button, we're just going to say player inventory dot change left weapon, which we do not have many yet, but it's just the exact same thing as the right weapon functionality, but you replace left with right. I'm not going to do that in this video because again, it will waste some time. So next in the tick input, let's just say handle quick slots input and let's save that. And then in quick slots input, we're going to say input actions dot player quick slots dot D pad right. And this weird little syntax here. Again, mine is input actions dot player quick slots. Yours could be player actions. Um, it could be whatever you named it. I just made another subsection for the inputs called player quick slots. If any of this is confusing you, please comment below and I'll explain. But uh, again, this is stuff we've already done before. So back here on the player inventory, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say right weapon just for the sake of. I'm starting with the unarmed weapon, we're going to say equals unarmed weapon, and left weapon equals unarmed weapon. Then on player manager, we're going to say input handler dot d pad up equals false, input handler dot d pad down equals false, input handler d pad left and right equal false. We're resetting these on the late update again. This is so the input only goes off once per frame. Now, let's go through the code. So, current right weapon index equals current weapon index dot plus one. So basically, when you call change right weapon, it's going to assess your weapon index and it's going to add one to it. And if your weapon index equals say one, for example, it's gonna look for the weapons in your right hand slots at position one. If that weapon is not equal null, it's going to assign it. If not, it's going to add one more to your index to go to the next slot. If at any point your weapon index slot goes over the length of possible weapons, it will go back to minus one and set your weapon to an unarmed weapon. This will allow you to cycle through like both of your weapon slots and also have an unarmed slot as well. Oh, we should assign current right weapon index to minus one and current left weapon index to minus one also. That way we start off on the unarmed weapons and we have the index set of minus one. All right, let's test it out. And that looks wonderful. I'm hitting left and right and my weapons are changing as you can see. And if you look at the index there, it is going from one to zero to minus one. That's perfect.
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. As is tradition, please leave a like and comment as it does help appease the YouTube algorithm gods. And if you're feeling super generous, my Patreon is below. You are all beautiful. Your views are much appreciated. I will see you in the next episode. We will further explore our item system and inventory.